Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's the SNM Forever. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, also welcome. Yeah, so on today's video, we are going to be doing a QA. Yeah, QA. I had asked on my Instagram page and I have about 15 questions. So we are going to be tackling the 15 questions and I hope you guys stay tuned up until the end. And without any further ado, let us begin the video. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So I have the screenshot of the video. So, question number one Who does the baby look like? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we cannot really say who the baby looks like. But a lot of people are really saying that the baby looks like the father. Maybe you can see with this one side that the father is showing me right now. But yeah, definitely he looks like the dad. But just stay tuned. You'll maybe be the judges to tell us who the baby looks like. I, mean, I feel like he has your eyes. So you think? Okay. Maybe we'll see as time goes by. But for now, let's just stay with he looks like the father. Stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, question number two. Are you planning to have baby number two? If yes, when? <laughs> <laughs> tell us, tell us the answer. Well, I mean, I guess we are planning. Planning is maybe saying a bit much. Yeah. We are very much open to the idea of baby number two. Yeah. Which I guess you wish very much to be a girl. <laughs> you never know, it might be a girl, it might be a boy, but I want a girl because now I already have a boy. And yeah. I don't want a girl. So and when I mean, I guess we will wait until this guy has grown up a bit. Uh -huh, yeah. And so I guess in one to two years time we will look into. Yeah, hopefully one to two years time we will be back here saying we are pregnant <laughs> again, but we'll see. Let's we plan, but God plans better for us. So we'll see when God decides us to have baby number two. Okay, question number three. How many months is he? So, tomorrow, which will be on the 5th of June, June is when you'll see this video and he will be officially two months. So, yeah, he's two <laughs> months. I would say he's two months, basically, because mm -hmm. we are doing this video on Sunday, so it's tomorrow. On Monday, when you'll see the video. Okay, question number three. Oh, or question number four. four. When will you guys reveal his face? <laughs> Ta -ta -da -da! Ta -ta -da -da! Yeah, well, I, I'm a bit hesitant about that one, but uh -huh. uh, we will we, we'll discuss and you will see when the time is right. As for me, I'm promising you before the end of summer, so stay tuned, guys. Before <laughs> the end of this summer, and summer ends in uh, September. September, so before, before even September. You never know, so just stay tuned. Let him, you know, develop the face well, and then you guys can <laughs> actually see him. And tell us who he looks like, because I feel like he looks like me. <laughs> okay, question number five. What's baby boy's name? Mm. This is it's a good question, because we've actually never revealed his name. So, what is his name? Well, we call him Francis, but I guess his full name is Francesco. Yeah, he's, he's named Francesco. Mm -hmm. So for those who will Thank ask, yeah, <laughs> for those who will ask, Francesco is an Italian name, the dad is Italian, so yeah, we just decided to call him Francesco. Aha, uh -huh, question number six, <laughs> I guess, yeah, question number six. It's not actually a question, it's just somebody who wrote that I should prank you. Yeah. Should I? Uh. <laughs> Oh, guys, it's so hard to come up with pranks because sometimes you might prank someone and the person might not take it that well. So I'm a bit hesitant about pranks, but we really have to do a prank on this guy. It's been a minute from the last prank that I pranked him. And actually, it's the most viewed video on all the videos we've it's ever done. Good. Yeah, it's the top video from all the videos we've ever done. So yeah, maybe you guys... <laughs> You have to be ready because very soon it's going down. And sorry for the noise, we're in the balcony and there's a plane over there that is calling my name, just passing by. So, yeah, so maybe you guys wait for the prank video sooner than you expect. So, before we reveal his face, maybe we might prank him. So, we, yeah, you're in fact. 
Of course, me and Crunchy, you have to crunch him, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh huh. You hear? You see? Okay. So the next question: How are you? Personally, I would say I'm very okay. Very, very okay. And you? Me? Uh -huh. Well, tired a bit, I guess, but apart from that, also good. Right? All in all, I would say we're very happy with our little journey. Yeah, very, very, very happy for those who saw we struggled so much to even get a baby. Now that we have him, we are where we wanted to be, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah, so question number, I guess, eight. Question number eight, when are you planning to start feeding him? Sure, four to five months. Yeah, we had discussed with the. We have a midwife who comes in every, not every day, but when I gave birth, she used to come every day. But now every week, maybe. Yeah, when I gave birth, she used to come every day, but right now she comes weekly. Mm. So once a week, right mm. now that he's a bit older, he's two months. So the midwife comes weekly and. We had discussed with her and we are going to plan on when he's going to start feeding. She said four to five months is a good time, but just stay tuned. We are going to do it as a YouTube mm. video when we start feeding him, of course. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Question number nine. Not a question, but you both look amazing together. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You. Uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> Okay, question number. I, I've lost count. The next question What's your biggest fear in life? Oh, me, I guess. Yeah, well, I guess. My biggest fear would uh, be dying alone, but um, yeah, we are working on that. I guess, yeah, so. I don't think you'll die alone. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a baby, there's me, there's. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. I would say my biggest fear is failing to give the best to the people i love the most because i i really like treasure people that are really close to me not people like my family and my friends and my little family over here so my biggest fear is to be able to give them the best because they deserve the best so that is my biggest fear and i'm really working hard to always make sure that i give them the best and i hope they can see that even though sometimes you know some things happen but <laughs> yeah next question what is the biggest challenge so far about parenthood i guess it's your turn too but okay I can is for both of us. well i guess it's to be there for somebody basically all the time yeah so that is a big change obviously yeah um apart from that yeah, obviously not having enough sleep, but <laughs> we are managing, I guess. It's okay if you can share between two people. Yeah. And you're even having a bit of help. Right yeah, now. from my grandmother. So, yeah. yeah, I think my biggest uh, challenge is that I have to be the, the person who feeds the, the, the baby, the person who feeds Franchi. So mostly that's a very big challenge because I have to take in a lot to be able to produce the milk. So by taking in a lot also, you know, I'm gaining a lot of weight, I'm doing it, which I'm not complaining. I will, I'm gladly doing that and I'm okay with even gaining the weight and stuff because I know along the road I will lose because of a few whatevers or because of me wanting to lose. But I think my biggest fear is that I am the one who is responsible to make him grow by feeding mm. him. So. My biggest fear is loss of the lack of enough milk to feed him. Challenge. 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 Yeah. Challenge. Yeah. My biggest challenge is lack of enough mm. uh, food mm. to feed him. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So next question. What is the best part about being a mom or a dad? <coughs> I guess it's nice. So that's basically about that uh, you have this little guy here that loves you unconditionally yeah. and gives you so much back gives you so much feels something in your life that yeah. you have missed yeah I guess, yeah. yeah i think the biggest part of being a mom i if i may say so is that 
you know that you are responsible for somebody and you should do what is best for that person so i think that is the biggest part of being a mom the best part of being a mom that you know that you have to care for somebody and you must care for that person and that person the minute you just have them you just see the little mini like you know like your heart is running around there is crying around there anyway motherhood comes naturally as they say motherhood has no or parenthood has no manual so whatever you do just believe it's the best so next question how was your recovery after birth i had <laughs> i did, i don't think i had a lot of complications during my birth and i thank god for that and i also don't think i had a lot of complication during my recovery because one thing my husband was on paternity leave and my grandmother was also here so there was no challenge actually apart from me not having enough milk mm. right yeah yeah but that is nothing like that is part of after birth so i would say i really didn't have a lot of challenge the only challenge i had was lack of enough milk and sometimes it was there sometimes it wasn't there but all in all right now we are doing great with the milk supply <laughs> so nothing much i would say it was a challenge because i had two helping hands and i still have them right now so and my baby is almost is now two turning two months and they're still there so i would say i'm basically okay with mm my recovery and thank you for those people who helped me and also for those who are there for me asking how I'm doing and all those stuff thank you <sighs> ah, yeah. next question how would you describe parenthood now that you both are parents <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's a bit similar to like the question before what is the best part what parts yeah. like yeah it's a challenge obviously mm -hmm. like changes a lot of things in your life um, it's like not possible to have just time for the both of you yeah. so not as easy it is yeah. but on the other hand it gives you answer a lot so I don't know like I guess for us we both knew that we wanted a baby Crunchy to yeah. have a baby yeah. so yeah. maybe it's different for somebody who like is not in the situation like us I would say we were both very happy with how things have turned out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I would personally say parenthood has been one of the best things that has happened to us because we were both looking forward to having a child together. So personally, I think parenthood has molded us into these people that we are right now and to maybe the people who we will be in the future because... <laughs> like after two months... I mean, we have been molded a bit, yeah, but yeah. there will be some more molding along yeah, the road. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, I guess also the other question is about parenthood. That was a repetition. So uh, those were all the questions. It's nice to see that I can interact with some of you in my Instagram, and we can both answer your questions that you're asking. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for staying tuned up until now. And until next time. Uh, like share subscribe <laughs> yeah like share yeah yeah so i guess we will see you on the next video mm. and yeah bye bye, bye, -bye.